What's up YouTube? Today we are learning how to solve percentage problems without a calculator. By the end of this video you're going to be able to do this question here on your own and together we'll have solved this question here. Everything we're doing today is building up to answering this question here without a calculator. The first thing that we need to know for percentage, well cent literally means hundred, per means out of. So the first thing that we need to know is percentages have something to do with 100. Today, 100 is our magic number. So everything we're doing, we need to think, well, how does that relate to 100? Because we're working with 100, the first thing I'm going to do is I want to list out the factors of 100. So we've got our first pair. One's always one of the pairs. It's even. So we've got two next. Next number, three, not a factor. 100 divided by 4, 4 is a factor, 5 is a factor, 6 isn't, 7 isn't, 8 isn't, 9 isn't, 10 is a factor. And you can see because we've got 10 over here, we've got all the factors. So that's in size order. If you want to solve factors as easily as I just did, click here for my video on factors. Okay, so what we need to do now is we need to bear in mind these factor pairs. These factor pairs are so important because what we need to do is we need to make the number 36 using only numbers from our factor pairs. So I might, for example, want to do 20 plus 10 plus 5 plus 1. 20 plus 10 is 30 plus 5, 35 plus 1, 36. I could do 50, take away 25, which is 25, plus 10 is 35, plus 1 is 36. I could do 2 plus 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 2, 18 times. Some ways of getting 36 are better than others. The way that we're going to be getting 36, I think we should do 25, plus 10, plus 1. 25 plus 10 is 35, plus 1 is 36. There is no wrong way of doing this. If you've got another way to make 36, use addition and subtraction only, you're going to get a right answer. The only issue is you might make it more difficult for yourself if you're using loads and loads of numbers. So the way I've chosen, 25 plus 10 plus 1. I only use addition and subtraction to make 36. So now we use our factor pair. If I've got 25%, 10%, and 1%, I can use my factor pair. The factor pair of 25 is 4. So I'll divide all of this by 4. 4,400 divided by 4, 1,100. So 25% is the same as 1,100. My factor pair of 10 is 10. So I need to do 4,400 divided by 10. 4,400 divided by 10. I'll get 440. So 10% the same as 440. What's my factor pair of 1? My factor pair of 1 is 100. So I need to do 4,400 divided by 100. And I'm going to get 44. 25% plus 10% plus 1%. That's 36%. 1,100 plus 440 plus 44. So we're going to write that out because we don't have a calculator for this. 1, 1. Zero, zero. Make sure it lines up, make sure it's really, really neat when you're doing addition. Zero plus zero plus four is four. Zero plus four plus four is eight. One plus four, five, one, one. So our answer, 1,584. So in order to find 36% of 4,400, we 
need to create our factors of 100, use our factor pairs, and come up with different numbers using the factor pairs to create 36%. Have a look here. Can you see an easy way to use these numbers to make 54? If you can, I think you're going to be able to answer 54% of 9,600. Let me know what you got in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe.